welcome back. Now that we've uh, completed our combat scenario, it's uh, time to allocate some experience and some loot. And I'll show you how that's done in Tiny Dungeon 2nd Edition. This is my port to a uh, core RPG for Fantasy Grounds of the Tiny Dungeon 2nd Edition. First off, we'll uh, get us a parcel out. We'll call it the cemetery. Alright. So in tiny dungeons, the At the end of a, of a session, the gym can reward or your experience. And these are what that can be spent on. Uh, 6 XP can be spent to increase your hit points by 1. 8 experience can be uh, used to uh, get a new proficiency, a weapon proficiency, or master a weapon in a proficiency. And then 10 XP, you can get a new trait. So you don't get a lot of experience for a uh, you know most sessions it should take uh, two or three sessions to get the higher levels all right so let's go ahead and uh, give them a little experience uh, we'll say that this experience was worth seven experience points well let's make it eight eight experience that way we'll we can divide each player can get two experience Also, the another thing I like to use in my system is hero points. They're also called fate points, luck points. Uh, whenever a player does something really spectacular or uh, does good role playing, you can give them a, a hero point, and then they can use that hero point at any time in any session to re-roll a roll of dice that went terribly bad for them. So, in the uh, in the last scenario, our dwarf had a uh, a glorious success. That uh, he rolled three sixes. So that will give him a uh, a hero point for that. Created some tables, uh, loot generating tables, and um, if you're a role master player, some of these may look familiar because I took them right out of role master. Uh, but they they work very handy for any role playing system. Uh, so we'll use a horde composition table to determine uh, the composition of the cemetery horde. Uh, the necromancer wasn't normally abnormally rich and he wasn't poor so we'll call him normal so we'll roll to see how many times we'll roll on the other tables for how how wealthy he was and we get one normal result so that means that we roll on the wealth composition table under the normal column one time and we end up with six gold pieces so we'll take our party parcel and we'll notate six gold pieces. Then we'll go 
window. To the hoard item composition time, and we'll also roll one time under the normal column, and we end up with a normal item. And then we'll roll on the random thing I found table to see what that item might have been. That was a light weapon, it was a broadsword. So we can take that broadsword and drag it over here into the player sheet, or the parcel sheet. And if you had potions or scrolls, or if the item had a bonus, you can generate them here. Spatial items, books, uh, all the different classes. And this would be our our loot parcel for this uh, this encounter. Now, if I was setting, if this was a specialty encounter, not just a random scenario I set up to show how it works, I might add more uh, more benefit to this so we'll you would add more more items maybe or a specialty item if you intended them to find an item but I'm not since this is just a example scenario So we'll get the we'll grab the party sheet and we will uh, drag our characters over to it all right now all we have to do is take our parcel and drag it into the uh, into the party sheet And to distribute this, let's go back to inventory. Here we got uh, 10 gold on the dwarf. To distribute this, we, we decide who's going to get the broadsword. And uh, Sarfa, the elf, uh, they decide to give it to him to replace his short sword. Now, if we apply it, he divides it up evenly, and then it has a remainder, which you can decide who gets it. And so in this case, we're going to give Tefri 12, and the dwarf 12, and then clear out this. And that's it. That's how easy it is to distribute your treasure. What? That? That is all we get for risking our lives. What was that? Did y'all hear that? Well, that was weird. Hmm. Anyway, that's the end of this video, and I hope you, uh, uh, you've enjoyed it. And until the next time, thanks for watching.